everyone this is your friendly neighborhood web developer search engine optimization guru and today we're going to be talking about stop words because this is confusing to a lot of people but hopefully I can help you understand what stop words are and so maybe whenever you're using your WordPress or uh, using your uh, Yoast plugin you'll be able to understand these stop words a little bit better um, so let's take some titles. The Cat in the Hat. <clears throat> now, if you want to look at the stop words, it's the ones that are used most commonly. Remember, in computer search engines, a stop word is co a commonly used word, such as the, uh, that a search engine has been programmed to ignore, both when indexing the entries and searching and when retrieving them as a result of a search query. So the list of words, they, they call them stop words. So we have several different ones. Stop words are <laughs> words that appear frequently in documents and on web pages that search engines would often ignore when indexing it. And now there's several stop words. But just let me give you an example of several stop words. So if we look at the cat and the hat, Here's a lot of the different stop words. A and is on. Now you don't want your website indexed for the word the or in or the. Okay. So that's why these stop words would be irrelevant because search engines are programmed to ignore them. So this is how Google would see your website. Cat hat. Right. So when you're developing the title or the slug you know you want to have something a little bit different so now you're only utilizing you know how many characters of your 70 characters that you can utilize in your title because you know if there's any stop words in there they're going to be ignored so you only have two words that are actually going to be indexed and that's why you want to stay away from these ones because you don't want to be indexed for and or is or on. Every website has these. Okay, these words here are stop words because it doesn't distinguish your website from the other websites that are on the internet because everybody uses these within their titles or within their content and so on and so forth. So that's why they're called stop words because it, uh, the search engines are programmed to ignore these. I hope this little bit of information was beneficial to you. Um, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can leave it in the comment box below or visit us at a1websitepro.com. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks.